Alrighty then, hello there you guys, Crystal here, welcome back. We are on officially day two in uh, Roadsview. It feels like there's three, but that first day didn't really, didn't really count. <laughs> um, but yeah, welcome on in. As you guys just saw with our little announcements with Tom Nook, we have the airport open now, which I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be doing much online with this town or not. We're going to have to see. Uh, and we also have Blathers moved in today, so that is... Very exciting. Um, but welcome back, welcome back. Uh, since the last time I saw you guys, I did go ahead and weed most of the island that we can reach at least. Um, that being said, I did want to get back to you guys on this. Thank you all so very much for all the kind and just like awesome comments on the first uh, two episodes of the first two that I've released so far. Um, the third one will be out soon and this one will hopefully be out the day after. I'm, I'm working a little bit ahead of time so that I actually have content for you guys and I don't know I've been really enjoying it so <laughs> um but yeah we uh we we did and I uh I don't know I've, I got all the you know the warm and fuzzies from reading all the all the lovely comments and the welcomes back to you know uh more YouTube based comment or content sorry so um thank you guys so very much for that also thank you all so much for the couple people who pointed out that we don't have to wait for the pole vault anymore. We can just buy the diving suit and go to the other areas of our island. <laughs> uh, completely didn't realize that, and it makes perfect sense. I just haven't started a new game, like, since... Ooh, hello. Uh, since the uh, diving suit was introduced, so we're going to have to maybe give that a try today. Um, but yeah, you can see all the weeds <laughs> I managed to pick up over the last... Uh, I guess it was yesterday yesterday evening. Ah, uh, dearest reader, are you paying proper attention to your appearance, darling? A mirror can help you put yourself together. I've included a DIY mirror recipe in this bottle. Do make one for yourself when the mood strikes. Best wishes, Gloria. I think Gloria is a... Is she a gorilla? I feel... Oh, maybe she's a duck. I'm not sure. I'm picturing two different villagers who are both kind of purple or pink. <laughs> anyway, we got the full-length wooden mirror. Which is awesome, because I am going to want to change my hair, but we also need to buy something for that, so. Uh, this it. Oh. Well then. Um. <laughs> hi. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't do it. I swear, I did not do it. Um. Way anchor. Check its blood pressure. Who's your provider? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sir? Ugh, I was at the helm, just... Give me five more minutes. Um, hello? Mm. Pierce, help me. Oh, wait, never mind. We're good. Ugh. Do, do you have my pickled herring pizza? I already tipped online, so... Wait, I don't see a pizza. Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, hang on, I know that one. I'm none Oliver than Gulliver, a seafaring seagull of the seven seas. Were you the one who kept nudging me just now? Thanks for the wake-up call. Those tasty hallucinations tend to sneak up on me. Can you find it in your heart to forgive this waterlogged bird brain? I'm reading your vacant expression as a yes. Whew. Guess I dozed off and tumbled overboard again. That endearing character trait of mine. Sorry, that's an endearing character trait of mine. My crewmates love it when I slip over the bow. Don't worry, the fellows will be here to rescue me in no time. Got an ace up my wing, you see. I'll just... <laughs> I remember when, when people were first encountering Gulliver, and, like, from very certain camera angles, his phone looks like a gun, and it's, like, it's a little bit weird looking. 
<laughs> and people were like photoshopping it. Anyway, sorry. Um, I'll just call for help using my handy dandy, uh, my, uh, oh my gosh. My handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Aw, oh, sardines. It's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts, too. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Hmm, that could take a while. I've only got enough uh, nautical puns to last for a couple hours. <laughs> you, yes you, will you help me find my communicator parts? Uh, I gotcha. Actually, I don't have a shovel yet. This might be interesting. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, thank you. Your heart must be almost as big as your head. Whoa, dude, listen. <laughs> yeah. All right, fine, it's fine. Your care parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm just missing five parts. You'll find them. Sorry, if you'll find them, I'll try to cram them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I'd better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the searching to you. I believe in you, partner. I don't have much of a choice. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I feel like everyone probably knows, but just in case anyone who might be joining us and has never really played before, um, these little shadows that kind of pop out out of the sand every now and then, uh, these can usually be clams, which you can craft into fish bait later on. But when Gulliver is here, they have the chance of being one of the five communicator parts that he needs. And that is why we need the shovel. But of course, we don't have one of those yet. But, as I was saying before I was distracted, uh, this is Blather's tent. And if I remember correctly, we are going to be getting a shovel from him. Oh, I see a present. Give me a second. Give me a second. Blathers and uh, Gulliver, they can all wait. I want to pre- oh god. <laughs> I'm so used to pressing up on the D-pad. Uh, there we go. Okay, it might just be money. It might be a new DIY. We have a lot of DIYs to collect. I'm not used to that. I'm used to my other save file where, like, I kind of got most of it. <laughs> Hi. Hello. What are you? <gasps> Ooh, nice. Alright, worth. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna go around and make sure that I pick up all the sticks from around the island, and then we will get back to what we were doing. Uh, mainly because I'm gonna need them for crafting tools today. Um, sticks go into pretty much everything, as far as I've noticed, so we're gonna need them. Uh, we'll leave those for now. And also, I just realized this might bother some people, so I'll check it right now. Um, I took a picture for the background of one of our thumbnails and I got this, and I didn't want to redeem it without you guys, so... <laughs> I figured we'd do that today. Oh, Kiara, are you knocking stuff over? If you guys ever hear funny background noise while I'm recording, um, assume it's one of my cats. I'm so sorry, but also not, because my cats are cute. <laughs> uh, oh, I guess that was it. Oh well. Um, and then Critterpedia, we caught some bugs last time. And we can take a look at the mirror that we got, which is awesome. Um, I don't know about you guys, I'm a big fan of like the basic default wooden furniture set in this game. It reminds me vaguely of like the Alpine set. So I'm probably gonna use that in my house just to start off, just like I have in like all my other towns. <laughs> uh, okay, I think that's all the sticks. And these are our flowers that we had from the other day. We'll probably try and get some more of those going today. Also, I have mail to- you know what? No, no. Let me focus. We'll check after. Ooh, a pleasure to meet you! My name is Blathers. I'm exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island, thus I have come to conduct research, if you will. Ah, could it be that you're a crystal, the personage who chose the location for this tent? Uh, yeah, that is me. Splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to uh, alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. Now, regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I'm determined to open a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those you gave Tom Nook in the museum upon its completion. Though, I confess there is one smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a proper museum. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display, that is another matter. 
Which is where you come in. Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too. As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with fossils I require. At the river, you say? I can't just hop over it. I mean, we could also swim around it, but, you know, oh well. <laughs> Silly you, I have a solution as audacious. audacious? I don't, hopefully I'm saying that one right, uh, as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Pardon me, Crystal, while I transmit the vital data to your Nook phone. I love how he has like a little fossil phone case. It's the cutest thing. I love looking at all the NPCs' phone cases whenever they happen to bring them out. <laughs> there, you see, with good- sorry, with wood gathered from Rosie, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. This pole can be used to propel oneself up. Or, sorry, across the river, up and over you go. I sent DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well, which brings me to my point. Please crystal across the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers have blathered on far too long, but let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit. Fifteen more, to be precise. I fer fervently hope uh, you will donate your precious finds to the cause. Alright, so there is our our task for today. We want to get the museum going, we want blathers to move in, and we also now need to build a shovel and a vaulting pole, <laughs> which means I need to go smack some trees. Alrighty, um, so let's get my axe out here. There we go. Hopefully we don't run into too many more bees today. <laughs> I feel like we ran into enough last time. Um, but yeah, no, honestly, shout out to the people who were trying to tell me, you know, buy the wetsuit, because that is a really good idea. I would not have thought of it. But uh, it seems like, at least for today, we're not going to need it because we did get what we needed. Okay, so... I think we got the hardwood that we needed. We're just looking for soft now. Yeah. Just need soft. And Kiara is sitting right underneath my microphone. I am so sorry if you guys hear very loud purring. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't pick up too loudly. I know most people- ooh, hi. I know most people probably don't care, but... There we go, there's something new. Uh, I caught a bagworm, guess I'm a bragworm. Uh, and okay, I need, I need one more. Game, come on, seriously, there we go. Thank you. Okay, and we, we did put down a crafting table over here just the other day, so we can actually use that. We don't have to go inside, thank goodness. Uh, and let's do some crafting here. So we're going to make the vaulting pole. And that's pretty much the only one we're going to need, because these don't break, which is super nice. Um, but pretty much everything else does break. <laughs> so we're going to need more of these. There we go. Okay, my inventory must be getting pretty full. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's put the bagworm down with the other creatures. There we go. And I don't believe we have any storage in our house just yet. So, um, I might end up dropping some of the raw materials we have, but for now... Let's see if we can't do the thing for Gulliver really quickly. Watch as I can't find any <laughs> any spots that are uh, popping up. Seriously? None? I was joking. Game? Oh my goodness. Okay. It's going to be one of those days. Let me see. Hello? Clams, but not clams? Anyway, okay, you know what? I'll go over this way then. Um, as I keep hitting the wrong buttons. There you go. Whee! 
I remember when this game first came out and I had people over for like the first time. One of the very first things we did was we all went running. <laughs> you know, your little character running along. And we all went running to... Um... Oh, there's one. Uh... Oh, and there's our first part as well. To go and do jumps across the river all together on our little pole vaults. <laughs> we were so excited for it. And now um, a lot of people don't use it anymore. Um, because, you know, we have bridges in any location that we want, and, you know, we can completely remove our, our rivers if we want, so... It's kind of funny that it was something that we were all so excited for, and that doesn't really get talked a lot about. Same with the museum, actually, to a certain extent. Okay, uh, so we're missing one more. That's actually pretty... Pretty good. This is so weird being over here. I'm so used to the, like the layout of my other island, and this is completely different. <laughs> there we go, number five. That was easy. Okay, so we're gonna do this, and we are gonna cross back over. <gasps> Ooh, actually, we can bring down our hyacinths. Ooh, I don't know if I'll do that on camera or not, but I definitely want to bring them down closer into the main area so that we can work on uh, breeding them. Okay, let's go see Gulliver. Wherever he went. Hi! <laughs> he, honestly, I'm really happy that he came back and, you know, he's kind of doing the same thing as he was in the older games. I uh, got him right here. Oh, that's them! Those are definitely my communicator parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. All right, the pieces are crammed back in here. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Oh, wait there, crew. It's me, your rudder from another rudder. <laughs> so listen, it happened again. Can you swing by to pick me up? Sending my coordinates now. Gulliver over and out. There, that should do it. You're the best. Thanks for all your help. I promise, uh, sorry, I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm going to send you something that'll rock, or sorry, knock your flippers off. <laughs> Just make sure you put some flippers on before you open it, okay? Uh, I've saved nothing to do now but pace back and forth for the next few hours. Better get started. Alright, well I'm glad that he's optimistic. <laughs> and I do think that we get enough miles for seeing him for the first time. There we go. When you come across someone in trouble on the beach, you help them. Setting up an example for all the island residents. Such kindness will surely find its way back to you. There we go. So we are... Very, very close to paying off our uh, our little loan here, which is really exciting. Uh, let's organize this a bit better. Okay, so there was task number one done. I think I'm going to end up putting some of these down close to my house, just because we are <laughs> running out of space. Mainly, mainly the weeds. I could actually, you know what? Maybe I'll sell them. Because I do know that there's a Nook Monster Board for selling... A certain amount of these so maybe we'll do that okay um I'm, i think i'm going to sell all of them because there's lots on the other areas of the island so i'm not really too fussed about Missing out on a lot of these. Watch as that comes back to bite me later. <laughs> Ooh, 4,550. I will take that amount. Thank you. Okay, and there is some more Nook Miles, just like I said. Greedy Weeder. So, I actually didn't know this was a thing. Um, my, my Twitch chat had to tell me, because I just... I kind of hoard everything. <laughs> um, so there's that amount, and... There we go. We have the 5,000 we need, which is super exciting. We get to pay off our very first loan. But first, let me go check over here. Uh, let's see what you guys have in shopping. Oh, right. I ordered the lawn gnome the other day, didn't I? <laughs> that's what we have in the mail. Uh, that's kind of cute. Got a rain hat, doctor's mask. 
well, ooh, low key might buy. <laughs> uh, and then all these, of course. Um, these are cute. Okay, um, I guess we can talk to Nook while we're in here since we do have the amount we need. Um, so about my moving fees. Ah, oh, you'd like to pay your moving fees. Very well, you owe 5,000 miles. Uh, I'm ready to pay. Thank you so much. Indeed, that is 5,000 miles and not a mile less. With that, your moving fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day for us both. Yes, yes, you're free and clear of debt living on a thriving scenic island. What could be better? Oh, that wasn't actually a rhetorical question. Let me be more specific. How is that tent treating you? I love that little evil look. Like, he's not even looking at my character anymore. He's looking directly at us, you know what I mean? Um, you know what? It could be better. I, I would like some storage, to be honest. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, but no one ever said that developing an island paradise would be easy. But we don't do things because they're easy. We do them because they're profitable. <laughs> well, if you're growing weary of life in a tent... I suppose the time is right to discuss the possibility of building custom homes. Now, there are certain challenges to building fabulous homes in a remote location such as this. Challenges that do translate directly into costs, I'm afraid. Uh, but with zero interest financing and an extremely lax repayment plan, anything is possible. So, Crystal, if you ever find yourself interested in a new home, do come see me. Oh, one more thing to share. We have a Miles Redemption service for the Nook Miles you've collected. When you access the Nook Stop, you'll be able to redeem your miles for lots of interesting things. You'll be sure to check it out sometime soon, hmm? Well then, I hope you continue to enjoy your getaway package life. There we go. So we are going to have an upgraded house, which is super exciting. Uh, we've paid off our moving fees, <laughs> so we get a little bit more miles here. Um, but I do want to check out this, because, not gonna lie, your girl needs her own hair back. <laughs> um, this is good, it's a, it's a step in the right direction for, like, curly girls like me, or curly hair people in general, I should say. But, not quite my hairstyle just yet. Okay. Ooh, wait, the Miles Plus only. Oh, I forgot about that. <gasps> okay, hopefully we get that unlocked soon because I think it's... Oh, goodness, I have to look up which one it is. I think it may be the pop ones. I don't remember. Either way, at the moment, we can only really get the, um... Like, apparel. <laughs> Unfortunately, although, like, they are cute and stuff. Don't get me wrong. But I really want my hair, so... <laughs> anyway, um, the hair is... Oh, it doesn't even tell you how much it is, so I can't really save up. It's okay. We'll just try to save up as much as we can. Okay. Um, so there is that done. Let's go back outside. Um, I'm going to drop off our remaining supplies. And then we will go and see about these fossils here. There we go. For now, <laughs> before Isabel is here to tell us that our island is messy, this is gonna have to do. Oh! I don't know if you guys heard the Kiara sneeze, but she at least didn't sneeze on me this time. Okay, there we go. Also, you know, I haven't even spoken to my neighbors yet today. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should also do a teeny smidge of watering. There we go. Had to cycle through absolutely sing every single tool before I get the one I want. Did that even hit? I don't think it even did. There we go. Just take some getting used to. Also, I am using a proper controller today, so no drift, thank goodness. <laughs> the other day was like a little bit obnoxious. Um, anyone who's dealt with drift, you guys know. You know how annoying it is. And anyone who hasn't, consider yourself very lucky. <laughs> there we go. There's some more nook malls for watering our flowers. Pierce, how are you doing, buddy? Yo! You be training? 
Hey, isn't that the hat I gave you? It looks great. It really shows off your head muscle. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, where did Cat go? I saw her around earlier. Um, <laughs> we may have lost our cat. Gosh darn it. Ooh, actually. I don't think I've dug this up before yet, have I? Look, I dug up 1,000 bells. So, I think I am going to put this into a money tree now. We don't really have use for bells just quite yet. So, if I remember how to do this correctly. Uh, but I don't think it'll actually grow here properly, so I think I need to move this. Hopefully that doesn't disrupt it. I actually don't remember how this works. I'm pretty sure it's fine, though. Oh yeah, no, it's fine. Awesome. So we should get 30k from that in a couple days. Uh, Pater, I bet you didn't think finding buried bells... Sorry, I did. bet you didn't think you'd be finding buried bells here, hmm? This is an island, after all. Buried treasure and whatnot. Uh, enjoy some Nook Malls from Nook Inc. to celebrate your discovery. There we go, that's kind of cool. Uh, cat, hello? Have we lost you? Maybe she went over here? Oh, that's Pierce again. Um, hmm. Oh, there you are, hi! What's up, where are you headed? Word is that, except for the plaza, we're allowed to plot furniture down wherever and whenever we like. I kind of want to stick a bench and a vending machine somewhere to, like, make a cool hangout spot for folks. What about you? I say if you've got an idea for the island, then go make it happen. I don't think I've seen that dialogue before. <laughs> That's kind of cool. You know what? I'm gonna make a, a bench and vending machine area for you when I eventually get those things. I, I got you, girl. Now, uh, some people in here did remember that I used to have some issues with Cat. Um, thankfully, those are long since past. Pretty much, long story short, way, way, way back in the day, uh, I had Cat move into my island and... Uh, she moved, I think, on top of my Canadian flag, which was made of roses, and I was very proud of it. It was- this is a new leaf, of course. And, um... I think what happened after that point- Oh, this is not going well. <laughs> uh, was she finally asked to leave, but then the Welcome Amiibo update hit. And that seemed to reset that, so she didn't leave after that. And it took forever to get her out. I think it was purely the update that caused it. Um, and it, it was a bit of a it was a bit of a situation. It really was. <laughs> um, so I don't know if anyone else out there encountered the exact same thing I did. I just know it was really obnoxious. First fossil. There we go. So we can bring this back to uh, back to Blathers. But we're also um, a rock splitting champ, apparently. <laughs> There we go, 500 miles. See how easy it is to get them once you go on a roll. I feel like after the first 5,000 miles you, you put in, um, you start to gain more and more. There we go. Cool, okay. Uh, let's see, is there any others here? I didn't see any up there. I... Probably will have to clear out this area again in terms of uh, weeds, but again, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that on camera. Um, I don't think that's very entertaining to watch. <laughs> but uh, just don't be surprised if, if we come back one episode and this area is nice and clean. This means I've been doing a little bit of off-camera work. And unless, you know, something really drastic happens, I wouldn't record it anyway, so... There we go. I think that's what our third one. Yep, third. Uh, and then we have over this way. I really like the layout of this island, like the, the rivers and such. So far, I kind of don't want to change it a lot. I know that sounds kind of crazy because it's kind of what you're meant to do in this game, but <laughs> um, I'm just really enjoying how it looks naturally. But that might just be because I'm used to very heavily terraformed- Ooh, hi! Islands? 
Uh oh. Oh, oh, will I get it? Yes, I will. Awesome. Okay, let's see what this one is. Oh my god. <laughs> Second one today. Nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. I cannot wait to get my tool ring back. <laughs> Okay, so this is all clear, actually. I guess it's only the three. I guess any other ones are spawned up above, which is fine. I'm surprised I didn't scare away that fish. All right, let's hand these back over to him. Um, I seem to remember this process taking a while because I think he'll only check one thing at a time. So again, we might... Maybe next episode, go on like a bug catching or fish catching spree, pile them up, and then I'll I'll probably hand them in off off camera. <laughs> okay, let's at least donate these though, just so that we can all see how that looks. Cool. Indeed, there can be no doubt. This is a fossil. Incredible, wonderful, remarkable. My intuition was impeccable. Uh, there are fossils on this island. But I digress. Back to the matter at wing. I must assess your fabulous find. Let me see here. Hmm. Indeed. After some consideration, I can safely declare this fossil to be an... Australop... You know what? It's a fossil. It's a fossil. Yep. Mm -hmm. My feathers, what a fabulous fossil. <laughs> this fossil would be a sizable step towards opening the museum. I wonder, would you perhaps consider donating this ancient relic to the cause? Yeah, go ahead, take it. Never thought I'd lay eyes on such a well-preserved fossil. <laughs> Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable. You know what? Why not? Why not? Let me hear it. The whatever that is, thought to be one of the links between humans and apes emerged. Ooh, that's a lot of years ago. Jeez. <laughs> they lived long ago, even before the ancestors of the modern humans, so there are profound differences. Even so, it seems to me that you can see the beginnings of greatness here. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. So we have 14 more to donate. Uh, only a specialist such as myself can appraise a newly discovered fossil to determine its proper design. Or, that probably didn't say design. <laughs> From now on, do please bring me any fossil of unknown origins you find. Whether or not you choose to donate it is up to you. Either way, I shall gladly assess it. For this, we need 14 donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I'm eager to accept your continued contributions. Alrighty then. I mean, that's kind of cool. Um, so I guess what we're going to be doing here, you guys, is I'll be wrapping up here for today. Um, I'm still kind of getting used to the shorter episode formats. I feel like there's a whole lot I want to do, but I don't have time for. <laughs> um, but I think it's good. I think it's good. I'm, I've been uh, kind of playing without getting as easily distracted, maybe. So I think that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, next time what we're probably going to do is... Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to hand in stuff off stream or not, or off, off video. <laughs> um, maybe I'll finish handing in stuff for today. Oh god, no, see, I don't know if I want to, like, end it like that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to cut the episode here. I'll say my goodbyes, but I will add in a little extra bit so that you guys can see whether or not I've actually finished donating 15 things. And then when we come back tomorrow... Um, that will be underway. So uh, thank you guys so very much for watching here today. I really do appreciate it. If you have any comments or suggestions for the series, leave them down below. And I really do appreciate your comments. I have been trying to get back to every single one of you as best as I can. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic rest of your days.